according to the president, who has not fulfilled its responsibilities, contributing to the spread of coronavirus worldwide. President Donald Trump announced Tuesday that the U.S. is temporarily cutting off funding for the World Health Organization WHO. The head of state said this during a daily briefing of the White House Working Group on Coronavirus. WHO funding is temporarily suspended for the duration of the investigation, which, according to Trump, will be devoted to a role of WHO in the serious leadership in competence and concealment of the spread of coronavirus. The president recalled that at the end of January, WHO leadership opposed the U.S. decision to limit flights to China in the early stages of a coronavirus outbreak. Other countries and regions that, following the guidelines, kept their borders with China open have accelerated the pandemic worldwide, Trump said, adding that this was one of the great tragedies and led to a missed opportunity to stop the pandemic in the beginning. Its development The president said that WHO failed to fulfill its basic responsibilities and should be held accountable for the spread of coronavirus worldwide. Statement by the majority leader in the House of Representatives On Tuesday night Democratic majority leader in the U.S. House of Representatives Steny Hoyer urged President Trump to reconsider his decision to suspend U.S. funding for WHO. Of course, the World Health Organization needs structural changes designed to prevent China and other countries from using it for misinformation, but the way to this is interaction based on American leadership, the legislator said. I urge the president to immediately reinstate critical World Health Organization funding and take the steps necessary to ensure that the states and communities in America have the necessary federal resources. Position of the Unsecretary General On Tuesday, April 14, Unsecretary General Anthony Guterres issued a statement stressing that the World Health Organization who needs support today because its work is absolutely necessary for global efforts to win the war against coronavirus. Guterres added that when humanity, by common efforts, turns this difficult page of its modern history, it will be able to fully comprehend the lessons of the fight against a pandemic and the reasons for the rapid spread of infection. But now, Guterish noted, it's not the time to reduce the resources for the work of WHO and any other humanitarian organization fighting the pandemic.